Hi guys, doing Corey Tucker here, outdoor adventurous. I'm here with Jaron Beck. Are you sure that's your name? That's my name, outdoor skill specialist. Outdoor skill specialist. Today's video is all about Dove and what's in your bag. So let's get to it, man. I see you got the bag here. We got some other utensils. Mm -hmm. Let's walk through it. All right. Sometimes I feel like I don't have enough stuff when I'm going to the Dove field. There's not a lot here, but we'll go through it one zipper at a time. First thing's a, a headlight. So to hunt doves, you start fairly early in the morning. Usually they fly good at first light. So setting up decoys, that can help. So first thing in the morning before the sun comes out. Yeah, sun, sunrise to sunset is legal shooting times. Okay. So if you get out there 20 minutes before sunrise, you may not need that, but it's always good to have. Also got my hunting license here, very important with HIP certification. Are you familiar with HIP certification? I am. You, you told me about it a couple months ago. Yeah, yeah. So I got that survey filled out, reporting what I've harvested in the past to help set regulations. In this pocket, maybe a snack down in there, a little water in case I get thirsty. Early season bug spray can be a lifesaver out there. Swatting mosquitoes, so I always like to have that on me. Whether or not I need it or not, the mosquitoes will let me know. Okay. And then getting into the big pocket, this is the good stuff. Check that out. So that's my ground decoy, or I guess that's one that clips onto a, a branch. Okay. This one, this is more of a ground one. This one comes with a stake to where you can put it in the ground, make it ah, look like I a see. feeding decoy. I see. Yeah, so it's more in that position. Okay. Now, if the action is fast, this doesn't get used a lot. But if you have a little bit of downtime, portable stool always comes in handy. Let's see what else we got in here. You can't get does without these. What are these? Those are shotgun shells. You knew that. Yeah. So <laughs> you never know how much shooting you're going to do. Doves will make the best of shots feel like the worst of shots. So they are hard to hit at times. So it's good to practice beforehand with your preferred hunting implement of choice. So we got our shotgun here. Anytime you're hunting in a public field, safety glasses are definitely recommended, even private fields. You never know when uh, you might need them. Safety first. Exactly. And then lastly, we got our hearing protection. Electronic muffs are nice for a dove field because you can hear other people talk, maybe hear a dove coming, but also have the protection. So what are Ohio's rules and regulations as it concerns dove hunting? So as I mentioned, we'll start with the hunting license and hip certification. You need that prior to going out. The season comes in on September 1st and it actually has two splits. So there's two little seasons within the season. So it goes from September 1st through early November and then it opens up again in December and goes into early January. So it's important to check them dates every season. Um, today, we're out here in the end of the first split. So late October, things don't look as green as they did, but you can still do pretty good dove hunting um, through both the, the first split and the second split. Now, now, where do doves typically hang out at? So if you look, look behind us back here, this is a, a typical dove field. This lower bare dirt, that's gonna be where the doves hang out during the day, where hunters will hide in the corn. But if they're not feeding, they're probably roosting in trees, or if you look way down there, there's a power line. Doves love sitting on power lines, kinda loafing during the middle part of the day. Now there's a few rules that I wanna mention though, including power lines. It's illegal to shoot doves while they're on a power line, a building, or a utility pole. That all makes sense. Yeah. So, so use common sense when you're out here. Right, right. That's a good rule of thumb. There's one more thing that we forgot, and that is the motion activated decoy over there. Oh, look at that, man. That flashing works wonders in a dove field. Now, if I was only going to pick one decoy to take between these and those, I would definitely choose that one. Does that flashing kind of catch their eye and they're interested and want to want to take a look? Yeah, they could be a long ways out. They'll see that on the ground and come right in. Now, a couple more rules that 
are worth mentioning. Very important to note that legal shooting light is sunrise to sunset during the season and daily bag limits. So currently, and it's been this bag limit for a while is 15, but that could always change. So it's important to check the most current rules and regulation booklet. Now, is there anything else that you bring with you as it relates to dove hunting? There's only one more thing, and it's kind of at the end of the day, an old grocery bag. This is what I'll put my harvested doves in so I can keep things neat and clean as I pack stuff back into my bag on my way out of the field. And it's always important too, to pick up your empty shells and don't leave any trash behind in the field. Well, that's what's in your bag when it comes to dove hunting. For more information, visit wildohio.gov.